Here's exactly how to build a business based on your passion, ideal lifestyle, income, and levels of freedom. I also share how I am making it work. Most people end up starting businesses because they want to do work they love and they want more freedom, more money, and a better quality of life. The problem is that most people don't take the time to figure out what they love to do. They don't plan what their ideal life looks like, what freedom looks like to them, or what type of business is going to make them the money that they desire. Often people set up businesses because they are good at a particular craft, but then they never stop to figure out if this is the business model that is going to make them happy. Today I'm going to help you build a business based on what you want your ideal life to look like. So today you will discover how to decide what your ideal lifestyle is, how to build your dream business and the practicalities how I'm personally making it work in reality. My name is Kath Kyle and I'm the author of Stamp Goals book and I'm so happy that you're here. I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy and I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So let me ask you, have you ever wanted to build a business but you're not sure what type? Or maybe you've started a business but it's not ended up being what you thought it would be? Let me know by leaving a comment on my blog, YouTube channel or sending me a DM on Instagram at Kath underscore Kyle. So how to decide what your ideal lifestyle is? If you're going to build a business based on your ideal lifestyle, you need to first of all know what your ideal lifestyle is. It's probably safe to say that you're not already living your dream life, otherwise this content wouldn't have interested you. Perhaps you are quite unhappy with a lot of the way your life looks right now. Believe it or not, if you can tell me what you don't like about your life, this is a good thing. And this means that you know exactly what you don't want so all you need to do is figure out the opposite of what you don't want and this is what you do want and we have to just um, ignore the, the fact that we're in a pandemic right now and just think about what you want ideally even if the pandemic wasn't here because hopefully it's going to be gone soon so even if you are thinking well my ideal business involves traveling and I can't do that I would still plan it manifest it and you will be able to do that in the future, hopefully. So, for example, when I was living in Scotland, I knew that I didn't want to live in a cold climate. The opposite of this was living in a warm climate. I knew that I missed my family a lot, so the opposite of this was to move closer to my family. And apart from these two things, I was actually very happy with the way my working day was structured, the type of work that I do, and the number of hours that I work. And now that I've moved to a warmer climate, close to my family. My working day is based on my ideal lifestyle and all of my boxes are now ticked. So take some time to figure out exactly what you want your ideal life to look like and write it all down. So now let's move on to deciding what freedom looks like to you. A lot of people start a business to feel a greater sense of freedom or control over their working day. But what does this actually look like in reality? People often end up starting businesses and having even less freedom than they had in their jobs. A job will usually give you a certain number of vacation days per year, sick leave and time off to have babies. However, the responsibilities of running your own business don't just go away because you fancy taking a week off to go on a luxury cruise. That's why it's good to plan out exactly what freedom looks like to you and some of the ways you might be able to get freedom. For example, if you started a business model on creating content, you can create content in advance and hire someone to look after your customer services for you to allow you to take time off whenever you plan to. This is my own personal business model and it works very well for me. Or maybe you want an even less involved business. Perhaps writing a book and selling it via Amazon would give you the freedom you desire. There are plenty of business models that might provide you with passive income that gives you the freedom that you might desire. 
I wrote a whole blog post showing you 57 different ways to make passive income. And if you go to the blog post, there is a link surrounding this content. And if you scroll down, you will see a link to 57 best passive income strategies to replace your salary. And you can go and read that to learn all about that. Passive income is income that you earn while you're not actively working. And it doesn't mean that you don't put a lot of effort into your business, but it does mean that it is much easier to take time off as you earn money while you're sleeping and on vacation. And I have various passive income sources, which include blogs that generate me income from ad networks. I no longer actively work on these businesses and they continue to generate me money. My current business model is passive, but it's nowhere near as passive as my previous businesses because I'm very passionate about it and invested in it. So even though technically my income sources are passive, it's not a set it and forget it type of business because that's not what I want for this business because I'm really passionate about it. So how to decide how much money you want your business to make? You need to make sure that your business model is going to be able to provide you with the level of income that you desire. So for example, if you desire to make millions every year and you want to earn your money by coaching and you only want to coach two clients per month, you'd have to find very high end clients to make sure that you could meet your goals. You need to make sure that your business model matches the money that you are able to make from it. As I sell courses and books, I know that I can scale this business model up indefinitely and reach my long-term revenue goals. I can have one person or one million people going through my courses. There is no limit to the number of customers that I can serve. So let's move on to how to figure out what work will make you happy. Figuring out what work you could do to run a business is more tricky than you might think. If you currently love a particular craft or a service that you offer, you can start a business providing that service personally, but you have to recognize that you will be severely limited by how much the business can grow with you working in the business rather than on the business. If you own a hair salon and you also love to continue to perform your craft of styling hair, you're not going to have the time or the energy needed to grow this business much bigger than just one salon. However, if you have a passion for seeing people's hair transform, but you don't mind not doing the actual styling yourself, you will be able to put all of your efforts into growing the business, managing it and scaling it up. There are only a few types of businesses that allow business owners to carry on providing their craft and still be able to scale up the business. For example, if you are an online educator like I am, the sky is your limit. There is no limit to the number of people that you can reach and help online. If you create videos helping people to style their hair, you can reach millions of people and build a business off the back of that reach. If you love to create content, you are onto a winner as you are able to scale up that business much more easily. However, the drawback of being a content creator yourself is that it is still time consuming and it allows you less time to focus on scaling up the business. I love to teach and help people with information. So a content based business is perfect for me. I am well aware of the need to keep creating content to keep this business model going, but I love to create content. So this suits me perfectly. If you are the type of person who loves a challenge and always likes learning new things, you'll be happy managing a business because it will always keep you on your toes. So how to build your dream business that ticks all of the boxes. So now you know what you want your ideal lifestyle to look like, how much money you want to earn, and what freedom looks like to you and what kind of work will make you happy. It's time to do some brainstorming. So now what I suggest you do is make a list of all of the types of businesses that tick all of your boxes and match all of your criteria. For me, an online business creating content and selling courses and books ticks all of my boxes and I'll show you what my boxes are in a second. So what about you? What is your criteria? So here are the practicalities, how I'm making it work in reality. 
So once you've decided what type of business you want to create, you need to start to set up your business. My own criteria for an ideal business was as follows and still is. It allows me to work from anywhere. This business allows me flexibility to be there to pick up and drop off my kids from school. It allows me the ability to work for only three to four hours per day. It doesn't require me to work weekends. It allows me flexibility to take vacations. It allows me to work whatever time of day I choose to so I can get more work done early and then go to the beach if I choose to. It doesn't require me to have appointments. It doesn't require me to do individual client work. It allows me to teach in the form of writing and speaking. It allows me to share my passion with others. It allows me the ability to scale up my income indefinitely. It allows me to make money in my sleep. So based on all of my criteria, an online content marketing business is the model that is most suited for me. So this is how I generally manage my work. I work from home because I choose to and I love working from home. I have moved house and areas numerous times and my business just moves with me. I get my work done while my kids are at school. I generally don't work weekends. I take at least six weeks of vacation off per year and 100% switch off during that time. I'm not checking my emails while I'm away because I have an assistant who helps with customer services and she also schedules my content and creates my images and many other tasks in the business. We often go to the beach in the evenings or the weekends. I don't have any appointments in my calendar as I prefer not to. At the current moment, I don't do client work or coaching, but I might change my mind about this in the future. I'm just not at that place right now, especially during the pandemic because I have been homeschooling my kids a lot and I'm not sure if I could schedule client work in as well as that. I focus half of my working month on creating content and the other half of my time on creating products to sell. I get to create content that I'm passionate about. The more people I reach, the more income I make, so my income is unlimited. I make money while I sleep and I wake up to sales notifications. So now that you have learned how to build a business based on your ideal lifestyle, you might be wondering how to make money from your dream business. And I have created a free workshop to help you do just this called how to plan your dream six figure business in 30 days. And in this free workshop, I show you how to plan your dream six figure business in 30 days that fits your personality, desires and ideal lifestyle and how to make money from a brand new business even if you have no experience or product to sell. And this workshop is valued at $77 and is part of my dream business blueprint course. And I'm giving you free access to this workshop and an associated workbook for a limited time only. And you can get access to that workshop by going to kathkyle.com forward slash blueprint and next time I'm sharing the importance of commitment in business for manifestation so make sure you subscribe to my podcast manifest business success my youtube channel Kath Kyle and follow me on instagram at Kath underscore Kyle so you don't miss that and I'll also let you know via email when my next piece of content has arrived and this month only I am currently giving away four brand new free gifts every month and you think you're going to absolutely love them. Often I give away access to my products for free to my email list because I'm constantly creating new products and needing beta testers for that. So if you want access to my products absolutely free, make sure you subscribe to my email list and open my emails so that you don't miss that. And you can subscribe by opting into any of my free gifts, such as my free 100 plus success mantras. Mantras are like affirmations that the brain can't argue with because they are true for everyone. And these mantras make the achievement of your goals inevitable. And here is an example of a couple of my own success mantras. Don't throw the good results out with the failed goals. And here's another one. Scale up while going is good. And if you want to get my free success mantras, you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash mantras. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on 
the world.